<laughs> how are you doing? Uh, you said what my favorite bulky meal? Yes. <laughs> to be honest, I'm going to give you a boring answer. I haven't been craving for nothing because I've been fed, like I've, I've been full all the time, right? Fighting at 170. Uh, you should see my me and my wife's uh, Instagram chat. It was just every day for like three weeks, probably 20, 30 different things I wanted her to make me after I could eat. And if she didn't respond, I would be like, you don't understand me right now i can eat i've been eating so uh no no uh no funny meals to to say anything about makes sense now another new thing that happened this off season uh, you became a father i'm wondering what's that like what's your favorite part what's your least favorite part oh man to be honest i don't have no least favorite part that it's it's amazing he actually came between the semis and the finals last year in september uh mm -hmm. so it's a little bit more than six months now uh but no it's it's a blessing people be telling me all the time like life starts when you get a when you become a parent and it's hard to understand and like but for me it's it's just been a blessing i'm sure he's got an awesome dad to look up to so congratulations and best of luck on friday bless you Patrick. Hey, Sadabu. So obviously, you know, we're seeing you up at 205 now. What, what, what went into this decision to move up to light heavyweight? Uh, to be honest, uh, I have I have a lot of people around me that I that I trust completely. Uh, and uh, after after each fight, after each season, we sit down and we, we discuss things. And uh, we just felt that um, uh, I already won at 170. I've been fighting at 170 since 2019. It was easier for me at that point to make the weight. It just became harder and harder for me to make the weight. And um, uh, at one point, we just thought like, uh, why not? Why not try a new, um, a new weight division? Um, and uh, I got intrigued by being the first and only one that's, got, that's been competing in three different weight divisions. Um, so for me, instead of making a crazy cut, I'm doing no cut. So it's going to be fun. Yeah, it seems like it must take a lot off your plate not to ha not having to cut any weight anymore. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike Tyson, Dwight Howard, Roy Jones Jr. are all some of the names that have taken notice of you and your skills. How does it feel to receive so much love from some of the greatest athletes outside of MMA? Come on, man. That's that's something as a as a athlete uh, being able to have other athletes that's been uh, paving the way for for you. Not in the specific sport, but just like in general, right? Uh, being able to look at what you've been doing and and uh, give you some props and uh, give you your flowers. Uh, it's amazing. It's not why I do it, obviously, but it all it definitely helps and makes it much more fun and much more motivating. So you talked about the confidence you'd have in a matchup with current champion Impa Kasaganai. Is that a fight you'd want as quickly as possible, or would that was that one you'd rather have maybe in the championships? Uh, to be honest, uh, I'm just answering the questions right, but I have no Impa is not in my mind whatsoever, right? Uh, Impa is fighting my teammate Alex, and uh, I'm looking forward to see that fight. Uh, the only guy that actually has my attention right now is Josh. Uh, so. Uh, if and when I face Impa, uh, I'll answer all the Impa questions. But right now, all my focus is about Josh. Thank you, Sadabu. Looking forward to Friday. Ryan. Sadabu, good to see you again, man. I know that uh, obviously didn't go the way you wanted to in the finals last year. But just out of curiosity, were you able to get over to Senegal and spend some time with family? Uh, unfortunately, I didn't make it out to Senegal this off season. Uh, I hope to be able to go out um, after this season. Uh, that's that's something I'm definitely gonna try to plan for. And uh, now, when I have my baby boy as well, he needs to get introduced to Senegal and meet all his uh, relatives over there. Yeah, I hope we can get back out there soon. And now that you're in Las Vegas and you have that amazing stable of fighters at Extreme Couture, is there anyone that you've been training with more as you kind of bump up to 185 and getting used to the bigger guys? I know you have a good stable of uh, middleweights there. Uh, to be honest, I've been going with a lot of uh, middleweights uh, since uh, since when I fought at 170. Uh, a little bit, I, I started to to go a little bit more with uh, uh, light heavyweights and uh, sometimes uh, get rotated in with a heavyweight, but uh, uh, mostly with the same guys. To be honest, uh, it's not it's not a major difference because I I was going with a little bit heavier guys before. 
And you mentioned not having to cut weight. I, I having seen you in person, always thought that you were up in the, the 200. You have that bigger frame. Do you feel like you're carrying it well and that you'll be c competing well at this weight as well, too? Uh, yeah, I actually do. And that, that that got back to the decision that I still told you about with me and my team. We, we actually thought that I would be able to perform better in, at this weight. So that's why we made a decision to move up. Thanks so much. Thank you. TC. Hey, Sada Thank you. TC from uh, Vegas Sports Connect. Thank you for uh, taking questions here today. Uh, just had a quick question in regards to you jumping up to 205. Do you have any potential concerns about uh, adjusting with the uh, the weight class? Just uh, you got a familiar opponent uh, who's, excuse me, familiar with that weight division. He's been uh, you know, taking care of business there. Was just the finalist last season. Uh, again, do you have any concerns about your ability to adjust to a new weight class? Uh, I actually don't. I believe that I'm gonna be able to perform well here. Um, I'm gonna compete uh, in a in a weight that my body is used to, uh, and not having to go through the the crazy weight cut and and dieting for for uh, for a long time. In my case, uh, to be able to make 170 uh, has has made it better for me because I've been able to actually focus on just my craft and, and uh, staying in the gym and going hard and then being able to refuel and refeed. So uh, so I actually believe that my body is going to uh, hold up good here. Um, and um, I'm not I'm not concerned about uh, about the weight. Thank you. Lorenzo. Sadabu, it's great to talk to you again. Um, it's exciting to see you in the light heavyweight division. Um, you touched on it earlier, but I was wondering about how long ago uh, was it that you started thinking that this move might be a possibility for you? Uh, to be honest, uh, like we've always we've always known that uh, me making 170 is not going to be uh, something that's going to be going on for too long. Uh, so after the finals, uh, we sat down, uh, we were going through different options that we had and uh, and uh, we decided that uh, this was the best route for us to go. So I would say after the finals, a couple of weeks after that. Do you think, do you think your conversation, uh, that conversation with your team would have been differently if you would have uh, won in the finals last year, you think? <laughs> yeah, I, that's a very good question. I, uh, that's a very good question. And um, I honestly, I honestly don't know. I hope uh, that it would have gone the same, but uh, I, I, I honestly don't know. Understood, understood. That's fair. And um, as it pertains to your first matchup here in 2024, your first opponent is none other than Josh Silvera. Uh, both of you guys were 2023 championship finalists. And uh, man, both of you guys had some wild finishes in 2023 also. So uh, what can we expect to see this weekend once the smart cage doors locked? Uh, yeah, correct. Uh, he's familiar uh, in this weight division. First time for me. Uh, a fun matchup. Uh, I'm looking forward to going in there with him. Um I believe that uh, you're going to see a, a very uh, tactical, technical fight. Uh, but at the same time, uh, both of us are going to be looking for finishes and both of us uh, have the ability to finish. So uh, so for me, I'm going to go in there. I'm going to go in there disciplined. But as usual and as always, I'm, I'm looking for something uh, spectacular. It's always great to talk to the Swedish Denzel. Thanks a lot, Sadov. We appreciate it. Appreciate you. Carlos. Yeah, Sadabu, you know, good to finally meet you. You know, I'm super excited to see you uh, live on Friday. And, um, you know, talk about fighting in Vegas. You know, how are you feeling about fighting in Vegas and making that transition? Yeah, to be honest, I love it. Uh, I'm I'm based here right now, right? So not having to travel um, has been nice. Being able to to do like a uh, fight week at 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 my own uh, gym, um, all of that is nice. And also, like I believe uh, the first fight last year was in Vegas as well, and um, the the emotions and the feelings I got when I, when I, when I w walked out uh, because of all the support I had was amazing. So I'm looking forward to that. And Vegas feels like my new home. Amen. Amen. You talk about your family, you're a family man, you know, yes, and uh, I mean, look forward to the future and stuff like that. I know no one uh, overlooks any fighter, anything like that, 
But uh, what can we all expect? You know, the lights, under the lights, Las Vegas, Nevada, and uh, the fight capital of the world. Uh, yeah, so obviously I'm not going in there underestimating or nothing like that. But I I I I believe that I match up well, uh, and uh, um, I know that I'm gonna be victorious. Uh, we'll see exactly how we're gonna turn up. We have a couple of different uh, different pictures, but uh, uh, all of them end with my hand being raised. Thanks, bro, and I appreciate you. Thank you for taking the time today. Bless you. Pierce. How's it going, Sadabu? How you doing, my friend? Great. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. So first question. So obviously, I know people are talking about the weight class. While size tends to be maybe something you might be inferior in this division, one thing that you could be beneficial is your speed and footwork. Do you think that those advantages will be key to your success in this division? I believe so, but don't go telling my opponents that. And, <laughs> and then next question. So obviously... Not many people want to strike with Saad Abusi. Do you expect uh, Josh to be looking for takedowns this fight? And if so, how do you think your grappling is going to look at uh, light heavyweight? Josh is a well-rounded fighter. Uh, you've seen it in all his fights. Uh, he uh, he can he can do it all. So uh, so I expect him to to come out and uh, and try to mix it up. Uh, it's MMA. Uh, it's not a striking f uh, fight. So uh, and with that being said, uh, it's MMA in my for me as well. So. Um, I believe that my wrestling and my grappling is holding up. And then one last question. So I know someone mentioned we have actually four PFL champions in the light heavyweight division this year. Do you feel yeah. like uh, for the better, this makes you more excited that you're facing tougher competition here this uh, this season? Uh, can you say that again? I didn't quite understand what you, what you meant. Sorry, I was just saying, so like now since we have a lot more champions, the competition is going to be a lot better. Does that make you more excited and more motivated to perform? I don't need no more motivation than I already have. I'm I'm so motivated every time. As I always say this, like for as long as I'm this motivated, I keep improving. I keep getting better. I wake up and I do what I need to do, and not starting to take sessions off and be like, no, I don't need to do that. Uh, I don't need no more more added motivation. I have a guy in front of me, and that's all the motivation 